Mike says, I'm going to be working remotely out of my home state for much of June. I have my bookings calendar set up uh, so that people can schedule a phone or video call with me or an in-person call. I was hoping that marking my calendar as working elsewhere would prevent people from being able to schedule an in-person appointment. It doesn't work. If there's an easy way to mark my calendar as unavailable for in-person meetings, but I am available for phone or video calls. I'm aware I can do this in the bookings app, but is there a setting where this would be easier through, to do through my calendar or a setting in bookings? Wouldn't that be nice? That would be yeah, a lovely, God. lovely it thing. Works. In fact, in fact, yeah. I actually, um, uh, like over a year ago, turned in that feature request because I was like, if we could use the working elsewhere to know that it's in-person versus not in-person. Uh, but no, um, I can tell you that after much deep research on this topic, uh, <laughs> no. Um, I've used a different app for that. <laughs> Which is unfortunate, like they're forcing us to go use other apps because they're not meeting the need. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think I put in this, that might be my suggestion about create two different services. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so here, if you want an in-person meeting, here's the calendar. But I too have gone to a, an outside service to do that because it's not, um, it's not, A, it's been a little fickle um, lately. I don't know what it is. And just I said that my outside voice and um, not sending the teams meetings and things that people, you know, signed up for. They're not getting the notifications. And then the other is, is for that. There's more flexibility in location and being able to charge. That's the other thing. Now they're, they're yes. talking about mon uh, monetizing, adding monetization to power pages. I'm hoping that we can start doing like bookings with you want to book me for a coaching you know private coaching session here's the cost and they when they book they pay that would be lovely um, but they don't have that yet either nope yeah this is uh, again my my answer to this is like all of you is a separate service for doing that and different calendars for different things and yeah it's it's unfortunate um for internal stuff i'm just it, it so my calendar looks much more restrictive because my only option is to block it so they know that I'm not available there. Well, I, so I work remotely anyway, but same scenario. Uh, and then I push my, for me, Calendly that I yep. use yep. and I have five different calendars set up in Calendly depending on the mm -hmm. type of request. In fact, I was, I was running into some issues with Calendly today because it was not, I have out of office and it's supposed to identify when I have an out of office that I'm not available and it is not showing that I'm not available. So I'm not sure if that's an Outlet calendar problem or a Calendly problem, but in the Calendly's worked real well for people being able to note if they want to meet virtually or if they want to meet in person. Um, and so then they can kind of request that. But yeah, I wish there was a way in bookings to do that. That would be a really nice feature. Maybe we'll put the um, uh, feedback feedback link because we can guarantee it'll be on there plenty and um, let's vote go vote we'll all go vote <laughs> it up and push it up and you know try and help them